To log the network traffic to and from a virtual machine in Azure, we log the traffic that flows through the network security group that the virtual machine is associated with. To do that takes a couple of steps and first we'll need a virtual machine. So I'll click on create a resource, scroll down to the compute products and select virtual machine. This gives me the ability to put details in or change the defaults for a new virtual machine. It's selected the correct subscription and I'm going to create a new resource group to put this virtual machine in. I'll enter a virtual machine name, leave it as the East US region and change the image to be a Windows Server 2019. I can change the size if I want and I need to give it a username and password for the administrator account. I don't need to change any of the other default settings, so I'll click Review and Create. Now a validation is running to make sure the VM that I'm creating passes any Azure policies that are applied to the subscription. And once that validation has passed, I can scroll down and create this virtual machine. I'll click on the menu bar in the top left hand corner and come down to All Services. I can't see Network Watcher there by default on the screen, so I'll start typing Network Watcher into the search bar and select it from the results. This gives me a list of regions, and if I click on the drop down list, the East US region for my subscription is set to a status of enabled. If this wasn't enabled, I could scroll to the right and click on the three dots and then enable it, or just right click and choose Enable Network Watcher. The next step is to register the Insights Provider, and we'll find that under Subscriptions. So again, top left hand menu, we'll come down to All Services, and this time I'll type Subscriptions into the All Services box, and choose it from the list that's displayed. And from my list of subscriptions, I'll select the one I'm using, Subscription 1, and then on the left hand pane, scroll down to the settings section and click on resource providers. Now I need to find the Microsoft.insights provider. I'm going to start just typing insights into the search bar. And here I can see that it's not registered. It's not registered by default and I need to register it. I'll click on the provider name and then click on the register button. This will set the status to registering until this process has completed. Now if I click refresh, this Microsoft.insights provider is now registered. The next step is to give that log data somewhere to go, and we're going to place it into an Azure storage account. I'll go back to my top left hand corner menu and choose create a resource. This time I want a storage product. And I'll scroll back and find the storage account. Clicking on that gives me the default information for creating a new storage account. It's selected my subscription and I'm going to place this in the same resource group where I have my virtual machine. I need to give it a storage account name. So I'll call it Contoso NSG and remind me that the storage account was specifically for this network security group flow data. It's also important to check that the location for the storage account is the same location as we set for the network security group where our virtual machine is. And with the other defaults in place, I'm clicking review and create, which again runs a validation against any Azure policies that are applied to this account. And once that's passed, I can click create. Okay. Now the log data has somewhere to be stored, let's go and turn on that logging on the network security group. On the top left hand menu icon again, I'll click on all services. And this time I need the network watcher. On the left pane, I'll scroll down to the logs section and click on the NSG flow logs. Now I will be able to select my network security group 
and change the flow log status to on. Here you can choose whether you want version 1 of the logs or more detailed information that you get in version 2, the additional throughput information of the bytes and packets per flow. I'll select the storage account that I've just configured. And I'm going to set the retention to give me the last five days of data. Now I can scroll down and if I'm happy with those settings, hit save. To view that data, I'll go back to Network Watcher. And under the NSG flow logs, I'm prompted for this tip to say that I can download the flow logs from the configured storage accounts. So let's click on that. Then I'll choose the storage account that I configured. And if I scroll down on the left hand pane, I'm looking under blob service for containers. Don't panic if you click on it and it says you don't have any containers yet. This has just newly been turned on and the data hasn't had a chance to be collected and ingested yet. Now my Insights Logs Network Security Group Flow Event Container is available. And I need to click on it to drill down to a few levels of detail. I'll click on Resource ID, enter Subscriptions, then the Subscription Number, then Resource Groups, then the name of my resource group, then Providers, Microsoft.network, Network Security Groups, and the name of my Network Security Group. Now I'm presented with the time range for when I want to look at logs for, starting with the year, then the month, then the day, and finally the hour and the minute. And then the MAC address. Now, this gives me the pt1h.json file that I need to open to see that data. So I'll right click on that and choose download. Opening that JSON file gives me details about the network traffic that has flowed to and from the virtual machine through this network security group.